Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In my video about the best antenna test, a commenter made an excellent, uh, excellent suggestion. Location matters too, maybe even more than the type of antenna that you actually use. I was referring in a theoretical sense, supposing that you're out on an open plain or up on top of a hill or a mountain where there are no obstructions, where there's a place where there's not much man-made noise, human-made noise, ideal conditions, in other words, in, in the world. But that's never the case, of course. The town of Leed, where I live, L-E-A-D, uh, I, my house is on a hillside, so towards the south and east, I have excellent clearance for low angle propagation, but towards the north and west, any low angle signal is going to go straight into the ground or at an angle into the ground, but it's, it's going to have to have a fairly high angle of radiation to get anywhere. In Deadwood, uh, the town of Deadwood is down in what they call a gulch or a very deep valley carved out by a river, a low angle antenna isn't going to do you any good down there. It's all going to go into the ground and you're not going to hear any signals except from relatively high angles. But that doesn't mean that your situation is hopeless. What it does mean is that there are certain kinds of DXing that you're just not going to be able to do very well in Deadwood Gulch. But if I were down in Deadwood Gulch and wanted to do some ham radio operation and had all the money in the world and had all the goodwill of the neighbors and low human made noise, I'd probably go for something like 160 meters where even high angle radiation can be re reflected by the ionosphere, 80 meters but on, in the middle of the afternoon on, uh, on 10 meters, for example, I'd be kind of sunk literally and figuratively in a place like Deadwood. So unless the moon happened to be in the sky and I happened to have the wherewithal to have a moon bounce station. If you can see the moon, the moon can see you. And if you have uh, an, an adequate antenna aimed at the moon on the adequate frequencies, you can do moon bounce even down in a very deep, deep gulch. Even down at the bottom of a well, if you're lucky enough to have the moon visible. But so location definitely does matter. But as for the antenna itself, if you uh, want to get on the air, the rule still applies. You might need to make some practical adjustments, but unless you plug that thing into your radio and try to make contacts, you're not going to make any contacts. That I can guarantee. No matter what kind of antenna, no matter where you are, no matter what the noise level, no matter where the moon is and everything else. But that is a very important comment uh, that our colleague made and worthy of consideration. Stanja Belisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which, regardless of location or antenna, always translates to Did da 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 da.